This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Hello divers, thanks for joining me today. The subject of today's video is braided hoses, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But before we begin, we really need to discuss a little bit about the history of braided hoses. Braided hoses are often referred to as Miflex hoses. Uh, this is the same um, analogous situation as tissues being uh, referred to as Kleenex. And this is because Miflex was one of the pioneers in the braided hose market, uh, although there are currently a number of other um, manufacturers. In the late 2000s, Miflex hoses actually uh, developed a bad reputation. This was primarily due to a recall as a result of some bad crimps and some high pressure hoses. Then in the mid 2010s, uh, braided hoses took another hit when it was discovered that some braided hoses had an inside core underneath the braided outer material that could crumble. And so this was discussed in a number of Dan articles. It was determined that the material that some manufacturers used uh, was more susceptible to this than other manufacturers. Uh, but however, in general, it was recommended that hoses be replaced every five years. So despite these issues, uh, many divers continued to use braided hoses under different manufacturer names uh, due to the lighter weight and greater flexibility that braided hoses offer. So now that we have a little bit of background history about uh, braided hoses in general, uh, let's continue on with the video. So uh, the reason for this video was that in an earlier video uh, that discussed uh, the use of the Kydex uh, holster for the long hose, uh, a person commented, uh, actually asked a question, uh, whether or not uh, the Kydex uh, holster could be used with a braided hose. And it took me a little bit of time to respond back to this because um, I was waiting for a student that actually had an 84 inch, uh, seven foot uh, braided hose taking a technical diving class uh, to see uh, what the uh, actual um, uh, situation was. Uh, as it turned out uh, that the braided hose uh, did not have any uh, problems, uh, the Kydex uh, holster did not have any problems with the uh, braided hose. Uh, but the student did experience other problems which uh, resulted in him going to a conventional uh, rubber uh, seven foot 84 inch hose. All right, so um, uh, I have a shorter hose here, a shorter uh, braided hose here, regulator hose. And uh, as you can see, uh, the uh, braided hose uh, does go in the, uh, the Kydex holster and uh, it doesn't have any, um, uh, any friction issues or uh, other issues that, um, that uh, you might think might occur. Uh, and in fact, uh, an interesting aspect of this is that it acts very similar to uh, rubber hoses in that as you get closer to the bed, uh, the hose uh, grips a little bit tighter. So what that means is uh, it is uh, very resistant to uh, coming out of the holster uh, by itself. So uh, I can say uh, with complete confidence that the, um, the Kydex holster can be used with a braided hose uh, in the event that you uh, wanted to do so. All right, so let's continue on with this video and talk about um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so uh, uh, as we know, uh, Kydex uh, braided hoses, uh, I'm sure I'm going to keep saying Kydex hose, braided hose, uh, they have uh, three basic applications for scuba diving. So uh, one application, of course, the one we're discussing is the use of the braided hose uh, for a regulator. This is a normal length one. Uh, and then there's also the, um, the use of the braided hose uh, for uh, inflators. Uh, this is a low pressure inflator hose for a, a BCD. And then the third application uh, is uh, for a uh, high pressure gauge hose. Okay, so that's what, uh, what this is. Okay, so let's talk about the good, the good first. Okay, so there's two good things that I think uh, that these um, uh, actually are good for. Uh, one is uh, if you want to have a uh, inflator hose uh, in a different color other than black. Okay, they come in many different colors. In fact, we sell uh, a number of uh, pink hoses like this for inflator uh, inflator hoses. So, okay, so that's one good reason. Uh, the other reason uh, is uh, for uh, a um, uh, a short. Uh, a uh, high pressure gauge hose uh, that like is typically used uh, in uh, side mount diving for the primary tanks or 
uh, also for deco tanks. And one of the things about this is is that it's um, uh, it's uh, very flexible, more flexible than a um, a uh, regular rubber hose. Now here's an original uh, uh, high pressure hose, uh, and these are from the generation in which there were uh, many issues. Um, and uh, there's going to be a screen that pops up uh, about the um, about the recall that was associated with this. Uh, and so uh, the original one, which is right here, has changed uh, in over the years uh, to one like this. And this is actually very flexible, uh, which makes it very useful for um, uh, use as a deco tank hose if you're going to uh, put this uh, up uh, on your um, on your regulator up against your regulator. And it's also good for um, if you're side mount uh, diving, just like hang hang over. Although you could actually use the rubber hose for that. So there's really no difference in that application. Uh, then the other application that people would typically use this in is attaching a transmitter to the high pressure. Uh, uh, port in their um, first stage uh, so that when somebody tries to grab uh, their transmitter and use that as a handle uh, It may have a chance of uh, not breaking off. Okay, so uh, that's uh, some good applications Okay, so since we once got past this recall thing and have the current generation of hoses uh, This is uh, in addition to the color of the hoses. This is a good um, uh, This is a good application for uh, Miflex hoses Okay, a bad, okay, a bad uh, example of um, what I consider for braided hoses uh, is any kind of uh, use of uh, a braided hose for uh, technical diving. And um, uh, I would even go so far as to say that um, uh, it's not a great application for even recreational diving. And the primary reason for that is this memory effect uh, that, uh, that braided hoses have they are much more difficult to, um, uh, to handle uh, while you're diving than uh, with a rubber hose. Okay, so for example, in the case of the 84 inch uh, seven foot hose, one of the things that happens is that uh, the braided hose has a tendency to halo uh, around people's heads, for example, uh, and creating a uh, unnecessary entanglement issue. Uh, so this does occur to um, a lesser extent in recreational diving uh, in which it makes the hose stick out more than a rubber hose might. And so um, uh, I think this is uh, just a bad application uh, for uh, Miflex hoses and I'm sure there's plenty of people that are happy with them and plenty of people that will disagree with my assessment and there are plenty of people that would even do technical diving with a braided, um, uh, braided uh, seven foot uh, long hose. Okay, so. Uh, whatever you uh, want to do, uh, that's um, that's up to you. All right. So then um, uh, we have uh, what I would call a um, a uh, uh, ugly application. Okay, and uh, this is uh, an attempt by some of the braided hose manufacturers uh, to address some of the complaints uh, of uh, the regular braided hoses like this. And um, I did have one of these hoses around the shop, uh, but I can't readily locate it. Uh, I couldn't locate it in time for this video. And what it basically is, it's a, um, and I'll show a, a screen capture of one. It's a braided hose with a coating on top of it. Uh, so what the coating on top of it does is it addresses the issue that some people have, uh, particularly I believe uh, technical divers would have this uh, issue. Uh, is uh, the braided hose abrading, okay, the surface of the, of the hose abrading a person's neck, uh, particularly when they had uh, a regulator hose around their neck, as in technical diving or side mount diving. Uh, they uh, created that, okay, and what that does is it just makes the problem of the haloing worse, okay. So now the hose is even less flexible uh, than it was before. Uh, and so now it stands out, it stands out even more. Okay, so uh, that is uh, definitely um, uh, something that um, is uh, uh, aggravating an existing problem already. Uh, it does solve the problem of abrasion around the neck, okay, because it's coated, it's smooth, it doesn't uh, rub across your neck. Uh, so uh, it did solve that problem, but um, uh, on the whole, it just made the, uh, the issue about the haloing even worse. Okay, so. Uh, if uh, somebody uh, did show up with one of those, okay, I might have to say something about it because uh, they um, have such a bad problem with the haloing and the, uh, the flexibility that it is uh, just, just not worth it. Okay, so uh, in summary, um, two good applications for uh, braided hoses are uh, for uh, decompression or um, side mount uh, gauges, okay, very good application for them. And also uh, for people who like to have 
a little bit of color in their gear uh, with the inflator hose. Okay, so that's also a good application. So there you have it. Braided hoses, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.